Hello everyone, Irene here. Welcome to my hair tutorial from our last photo shoot. I'm gonna start off my updo with straightening my hair. It's pretty curly. It's ridiculously curly, and I just wanted it a little bit more smooth. I'm gonna speed it up so you don't have to watch me straightening the top half of my head for 20 minutes. If you wanna know how I did my makeup for this look, click on the link below if you've already seen it. Thank you so much for watching. If only I could straighten my hair that quickly in real life, I'd get to push snooze so many more times in the morning. I'm using my Paul Mitchell Pro Tools Express Ion Smooth. It's awesome. I've dropped it a lot and it still hasn't broken, so that's nice. I'm just gonna let you keep watching me straighten it. I really only straighten the top half. The bottom will be rolled up into a bun, so there's no need for all the extra heat damage. Whoa, look at those flyaways. From here, go ahead and part your bangs in the direction you want them to lay. I went with a deeper angled side part. Take the section from the top of your head down to your ear. Pull that back and tease it to death. Surprisingly, it wasn't as bad to untangle that night as I thought it was gonna be. That was my sister-in-law that just walked by. She's the one that takes all my photos, so if you ever see any awesome photos of me, she's the one to credit. Tease, 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 your hair into a giant bird's nest. Whoa, maybe I should leave the singing to Casey and the Sunshine Band. So once you flip it back over, you'll see other parts that still look a little flat. You just want to keep teasing until you get it into the shape you want. There's no right or wrong way. Uh, mostly you're just trying to get it to be very large. We realized when taking the photos that my hair didn't turn out quite as big as it did in person. In person, it looked so large, but in the photos, it just looks like a normal sized updo. So depending on whether you want it for a photo shoot or for an everyday event, you're gonna wanna make it bigger or smaller. Tease away, my friend, tease away. I took the whole bottom half of my hair and I put it into a ponytail just to give the updo some support when I started pinning things in. Twist it into a bun. It doesn't have to be pretty, it's all gonna be hidden back there. Use some bobby pins to secure the bun in place. Let the top half of your hair down. And I'm gonna go ahead and uh, triple play this because what girl doesn't want their hair to fall out of a clip and magically shake like in the chick flicks? We'll just pretend like mine is smoothly falling out and not teased into oblivion. Now that the back has an anchor, start smoothing out the top with a soft brush. This is actually a four bristle teasing brush, but it does pretty good at smoothing out the front of the hair. Smooth it out to get it the shape you want it. Wasn't seeming to cooperate as much as I wanted it to, so you can see by all those lumps in there. But don't be afraid to tuck and pull. Hair's pretty good at molding when it's all teased into one giant lump. You can always keep reteasing if you have some spots that seem like they're a little holy. The top of this updo is just a whole lot of teasing and smoothing out until it sits right where you want it. This is probably not the best style for those of you that are tender-headed. But once you feel like it's gotten a little bit more under control up there and into the shape you want it, pull it back so you can get a visual of the shape that you have so far. Tug at it gently and continue making adjustments as you go. I'm using Paul Mitchell's Fast Drying Sculpting Spray to help mold everything in place. You can use any kind of hairspray. I recommend using a pump spray because it makes the hair a little bit more damp and you just get a little bit more malleability with the hair. So I sprayed that on and I just started grabbing pieces and pinning them into that bun in the back. So once you get it all pinned, you can keep just pulling and pulling on the front, pulling on the top sides, tuck it back, pin some more, shape it however you want it to lay. For some reason, my hair wanted to pop out into the queen of hearts shape where it's wider on the front and uh, a little bit flatter on the middle, which did give me an idea for a queen of hearts uh, Halloween tutorial. So keep an eye out for that, it's coming up soon. Hopefully very soon because Halloween is in like two weeks. So I'm a little behind the game on the Halloween tutorials. Just keep pinning, just keep pinning until it feels pretty secure. And if it does still feel too flat in the middle, go ahead and just tug on it anywhere you feel it needs more height. This hairspray is some of the best stuff I've ever used. It is my all-time favorite aerosol, that's for sure. It's from Alterna Hair Care Line. 
It's the Bamboo Anti-Humidity Hairspray. I wanted some pieces to hang down by my face, so I went ahead and separated those from the bang area because the bangs will be pinned back into the hair. Once you finish getting those separated, spray your bangs with hairspray until they are pretty stiff and board-like. It also makes it very shiny too. Then take your bangs and smooth them back behind your ear. When they're laying right where you want them, go ahead and pin them back into the rest of your hair. And that little bun you made in the back is the anchor for all of the bobby pins you're putting in, so it just helps your hairstyle and your updo stay a little bit longer when you have an anchor point to stick them in. Spray those side pieces, get away all the little frizzy guys. Give your whole head a final once over with the hairspray. And you're just about all done. Now just tug and full, tug and full, tug and pull some pieces until you have your final desired shape. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this updo tutorial. Please subscribe, tell your friends, tell your mom, tell your sisters, tell your aunt, and anyone else you think might enjoy watching this. I'll put the product descriptions down below. While you're reading those, hit the thumbs up button for me and check out my Instagram, Irene Levita Salon. Bye everyone!